how to fix IMP issue longer than 500 milliseconds for mobile devices. In this video session, I'm going to show you troubleshooting techniques to identify interaction to next pane problems. Also show you some tips and insights for fixing this. IMP issue longer than 500 millisecond, milliseconds provides a bad user experience. And Search Console reports are not that helpful. So I understand that. Now we're looking at a sample report here. Even if you press on example URLs, as we can see, this is rather confusing for most website owners. Because here, URLs with IMP usage data, it says 195 milliseconds and it's all green. And yet, the group IMP score is, if it's more than 500 milliseconds, that's really bad and we need to fix it. The group IMP score is Google's way of telling you, we have analyzed many different URLs on your website and we have grouped the IMP score. And we believe it's more than 500 milliseconds, thus provides a bad user experience. Now, what in the world IMP issue is about though? It is the latency, as in the response time between interaction and the response from your website. Let's imagine this scenario. Let's press on F12 on our keyboard and then let's press on the mobile device emulator. Here, whether you're using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, this is the tool for you to troubleshoot because you can select different mobile devices to see if there is any changes. Also, when troubleshooting, when you click on certain elements that's clickable, and your website responds fast, that's great. But if it's more than 500 milliseconds, then there is something on your web pages that is slow. So then simply press around your website. Visit different parts of your website. Whatever that is clickable, whether it's the menu, whether it is add to cart button, whether it is um, sort product button and so on right whatever people can interact with you need to click on it and see yeah, there is many different ways we can measure it but if it's more than 500 milliseconds then you'll actually be able to see it as in see it's slow also the IMP scores are not just for tap events because people can visit your website or my website using their keyboard devices. As in, I can navigate this page using my keyboard. As you can see, each time I press on tab, look what happens. It goes to a different parts of my website. Let me show you this example. Let's view this on a, a mobile emulator. I can already see there's a problem on this landing page because I've added some element that shouldn't be there. But to assist you to understand this problem, I had to put that there, right? So as I scroll down, let's take a look here. See, there is a play button, right? So if I press tab and navigate, you see, look what happened. Next tab it went there next one it went to the play button there right so people can navigate using their keyboard so if i press enter that will play and if the response is too slow then that's the problem make sense so to be able to troubleshoot first click around your web pages look at different parts of your website because the layer changes and you will actually notice that certain interactions are slow and they need to be fixed, okay? 
as I've said, you should definitely test using the keyboard tap key as well. Because that may show you different insights, okay? Now, that's to troubleshoot, to identify what the cause is. Because fixing it can be simple or it could be complex. So I'll share some tips in terms of simple methods to fix it. Let's imagine a menu structure that's um, created using JavaScript or so on, and the menu click event response too slow. Then you can look at that and say, hmm, if it's slow, can I make that fast? Right? So that's a simple example that I can share with you. But if it's more than 500 milliseconds, then it seems the web page load and JavaScript function functionality will need to be looked at. So then what we can do is we can press on Network tab and refresh our page to see hmm, what's going on here. Now, surely these are advanced methods, but at the end of the day, to be able to fix IMP issue, we need to have that knowledge as to how web pages load. And here, looking at network tab, we can see what happened when the page loaded. I can press refresh, empty cache, and hard reload. Let's do that. Or you can actually use incognita browser to see, okay, what if someone visits the landing page? using that mode, private mode, okay? Then, what we can do, we can look at coverage report using web developer toolbar and refresh the page. Here you can see, con let's select just JavaScript for time being, just to show you. When you look at this, most websites are not optimized. That means, Okay, let me show you this example. Let's imagine a Shopify store and let's do the same test. Let's refresh the page. Let's capture the coverage. You can see in this example. Okay, let's go with JavaScript. 99.9% .9 of that JavaScript is not used. Obviously, that's going to cause a lot of problems with Core Web Vitals. So there, at that moment, we can analyze this JavaScript file and perhaps shave off 90% of it because it's not used. Surely that's going to be technical for most websites, but there is no other way. If it's more than 500 milliseconds, that means there is a major problem. And if it's not fixed, then your website is losing website traffic. That's all there is to. Now, you also have PageSpeed Insights as a tool. When troubleshooting, don't just analyze your front page, but rather look at different parts of your website. Let's take a look at this example. As you can see, the score changes. That's a contact page. It may load different scripts. As you can see, the prof performance is slow. Looking at a typical page, it seems okay. Looking at the front page, this is what you need to do. Even if interaction to next paint in this example is within the range, when you analyze different parts of your website, looking at mobile device emulation, then you'll be able to see certain parts of your website load differently. So then you can start optimizing those parts let's take a look at this example that's a collections url that's having a problem with the product url but it's all the same really then here the speed index is to do with your web hosting and also when troubleshooting imp issues longer than 500 milliseconds we can press on TBT, which is total blocking time. You can see here, 
2.5 uh, 2.1 seconds it took the main thread work and here script evaluation by itself took 849 milliseconds that's just to evaluate the scripts let alone parse html or css layer makes sense so page speed insights is your friend at this moment we're still looking at basic stuff i'd love to show you how to fix it simply but i cannot do that because each website will be different and you'll have different parts working differently. For example, Shopify store, let's em emulate it using mobile device emulator. Let's press on the cart icon. Look how it responded. That to me seemed a little bit slow. Let's press on continue shopping in this example. Let's reject all for time being. Let's press on a product image. Let's add, press on add to cart to see what happens. That, mm, okay, that seemed a little bit fast. But when you analyze your website like this, then you will actually notice that it is slow. The interaction is slow. All you need to do is identify what are the clickable elements by emulating mobile device emulator and once you identify what they are you can look at what scripts are you know, used you can minimize the scripts perhaps you can optimize them if you can you can load them differently perhaps defer their loading or asynchronously load them but at the end of the day, that is how we approach fixing IMP issues that are longer than 500 milliseconds. Now, if you do not have the skills to remedy this, call Web Vital Issue in Search Console, then you need to get a hold of a web developer who can assist you. Because if we don't fix the poor URLs in Search Console, and that's costing business to you so that's how we troubleshoot i know i went back and forth but i could show you you know one hour session as in make this video one hour long and go in depth but i've just shown you what to look at quickly and easily to then understand what urls or what parts of your web pages are causing interaction to next pane and you know remedy the problem accordingly okay so there is many many different ways you can optimize a website if anything you can definitely visit Ranker website or Ranker youtube channel because i've actually created a free tutorial course that actually shows how to optimize javascript as well but perhaps it's time for you to reevaluate your website in such way that it meets the latest Google requirements because that will affect the success of your business website. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.